News at 9 on Fox 22 KQFX starts now. Tonight, we are asking police how a possible new surveillance system in Columbia may have helped during a downtown shooting investigation. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Marissa Holloway. And I'm Lucas Geisler. Columbia's Downtown Leadership Council voted in favor of recommending this new software earlier tonight. ABC 17's Marina Diaz is live from City Hall now. Marina, CPD's police chief says the software would allow the department to look at situations and respond more quickly. Marissa Lucas, I spoke to Columbia Police Department's Chief of Police, Jeff Jones, who told me that the program would have allowed CPD to respond with the necessary resources as well as point them in the right direction after a shooting that happened on Friday night left three people in the hospital, including one University of Missouri student. There's been no leads or updates in that case and no arrests have been made at this time. Having the information that comes from camera uh, footage sooner gives us the ability to look for the car, the person dressed in a certain way uh, more quickly. Jones also told me that it would have helped in the department's response to yesterday's school threat at Rockbridge. Well, anytime that we have an event in a school um, where we perceive a threat, we can evaluate that threat by looking at video feeds um, to see the mannerisms of the people in the school. Are they running? Are they hiding? Are they just conducting business as normal? FUSIS is described as a collaborative public and private security network that allows law enforcement to collect video from multiple sources faster. So FUSIS is a platform that allows us to look at cameras that uh, businesses have that are publicly facing. The program has caused concern in the past, like when Mid-Missouri's Civil Liberties Association President Dan Beats sent a letter to Mayor Barbara Buffalo, who said while business owners may indeed be required to give their consent before their cameras will be connected to the FUSIS system, the business employees and customers certainly are not required to give permission. Marissa Lucas, the program would be an opt-in and optional for Columbia residents and businesses in downtown Columbia. Reporting live in Columbia, Marina Diaz, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Marina. The proposed plan would cost the city $315,000 from its asset forfeiture fund. And CPD will be holding two interested party meetings to educate people and answer any questions from the community. These will be happening November 1st and 2nd at its Human Resources Building downtown from 6 to 8.